Back in 2010, an author by the name of John Stott, who was a faithful minister who'd written many books over the last 50 years before, uh, had penned his last book. He was 88 years old, and uh, the book is called The Radical Disciple. And while I don't agree necessarily with everything that's in it, there are some very amazing chapters there at the end where he talks about dependency and death because this was going to be, and he knew it was going to be, his last writing. And at 88 years old, he had some important things to say. And as, as we look at this idea of dependency and death, it's, it's funny the focus that he had on Jesus really just kind of stood out that dependency on Christ. And, and the reason why this is so important is because as we continue our study in 2 Samuel today, and looking at the first part of chapter 23, we see the last words penned by David, the last psalm that he writes. There comes a time where we all reach toward the end of our life. We know the end is coming. And the words that we write down are important because they help us to see what is important in their life and what we should focus on. And when we look at David's last words of what he penned in his psalm, we can learn something from it of what our last words should aspire to be as well. Hi, I'm Pastor Jeremy Bannister of Heights Christian Church, and we're going through the Bible in five years period of time. It's always been a goal of yours to go through the Word of God. We invite you on this journey with us. By clicking the subscribe button and the bell for notifications, you can receive a devotional much like this one, where we read just a little bit of the scripture together and pull one thing from it to be more like Jesus. Well, like I said, David knows that this is, he's coming toward the end of his life, and this is the last psalm that he writes. So let's take a look at it together and see what you and I can learn from it and how we can model ourselves, if you will, after David, a man after God's own heart. Now, these are the last words of David, the oracle of David, the son of Jesse, the oracle of the man who was raised on high the anointed of the God of Jacob, the sweet psalmist of Israel. The Spirit of the Lord speaks by me. His word is on my tongue. The God of Israel has spoken. The rock of Israel has said to me, when one rules justly over men, ruling in the fear of God, he dawns on them like the morning light, like the sun shining forth on a cloudless morning, like rain that makes grass to sprout from the earth. For does not my house stand so with God? For he has made with me an everlasting covenant, ordered in all things and secure. For will he not cause to prosper all my help in my desire? But worthless men are like thorns that are thrown away, for they cannot be taken with the hand. But the man who touches them arms himself with iron and with the shaft of a spear, and they are utterly consumed with fire. Well, it's a very short psalm, but notice what he focuses on. Here he focuses at the very end. He, he focuses on the faithfulness of God, the faithfulness of God in his rule, the faithfulness of God in his promises, the faithfulness of God that the wicked shall not prosper. He focuses on the justice of God and entrusts himself to the one who judges justly. And, and this is the pattern of David's life that we've seen all throughout his life. But here at the very end, when he pins these final words, what does he want people to remember? That God is faithful. That God is faithful. He's shown his faithfulness toward David. He's shown his faithfulness toward his promise that he's going to, uh, his house is going to endure forever because Jesus is going to be born uh, through uh, David's line. He shows himself that he is just, especially as kings like himself, when they rule justly in the fear of God, things go well. He, he lays down a pattern for succession, for those people who are going to rule after him to realize that, that ruling in the fear of God is the important thing. If you'll notice in this very short psalm, everything is about God. God and his promises to David, his future promises to, to destroy the wicked, his promise that those who, who do so in the fear of God, rule in the fear of God, would do well. He's trying to lay down a heritage, if you will. 
you know, for you and me, there's going to come a time where we're going to have last words as well. And, and my hope is that you and I are practiced enough for living for Jesus now that our last words naturally will be about Jesus then as well, that we'll look forward to his promise of heaven, that we'll point our children to his promise of heaven even as we're aged. And, and when we do that, we continue to have that witness of God on our lips that lasts through the generations. And I pray that you have that in your life and begin to build that up right now. And I pray that that will be in your children's life as well. God bless you. I hope that helps you this day. And we will talk with you again tomorrow.